there are many USB-C hubs out there. The expensive ones, the cheaper ones. Why pay more when I'm getting the same one for the cheaper price? It is cheaper, but yeah, there is a catch to that. It's cheaper because it's lacking some basic features. It's cheaper because it does not support the latest gadgets. In this video, we'll find out what you should consider while buying a USB-C hub. Today, I'm bringing you one heck of a USB-C hub for an affordable price. It has all the ports like USB, HDMI, Ethernet, HD card slots and the two all the ports support high speeds and latest gen in the market. This is a must have accessory if you own a MacBook Air or Pro or any other USB-C devices. Without a further ado, let's get started. This is the USB-C hub from Cable Creation, one of the well-known brands in the USA. Let's see a quick look at the packaging and the content of the box. The hub is wrapped in the soft cover. There is this nice pouch, looks premium and has this little pouches for the pen drives or you can use this pouch for your Apple Pencil. There is some paperwork and it's coming with a two year warranty. Let's jump right into the features of the product. First, let's talk about the design and build quality. The hub is surrounded by a thin aluminum shell and it comes with a 15 centimeter braided cable. So it's more durable than the regular ones. And the USB-C is a gold plated one. It has seven ports all in one. Let's talk about one by one. First, the HDMI port. This HDMI port supports 4K at 60Hz resolution and HDR supports 6, 8, 10 and 12 bit color depth output with more ideal depth, brightness, detail, contrast and wider color gamut. You can mirror or extend the screen to a monitor or 4K TV or the projector of yours. Okay, the next port is or say ports, the SD card slots. It has both SD card slot and micro SD card slot. If you shoot your videos a lot in the camera and you want to access your footage, you just simply plug in the card and use it right away, just like plug and play. The read rate speeds of the SD card slots are 480 Mbps. Okay, the next ports are the USB A ports. We're getting two USB 3.0 ports, which supports data transfer up to 5 Gbps. If you are buying a USB hub in 2022, not just this one but any hub for that matter, stop buying the USB 2.0. Instead, buy the USB 3.0. USB 3rd gen is 10 times faster than USB 2.0. I'll quickly show the data transfers on the screen. See it for yourself. There are some cheap USB hubs out there with USB 2.0. Make sure to check this one before buying any USB hub. And also you can use these ports for the peripherals like keyboard and mouse etc. Then there is the USB C port. This makes the USB hub PD charging pass through and works as a hub at the same time. The USB-C power delivery is up to 100 watts. You need to check this one as well before buying any USB-C hub. If you have a 100 watt power delivery charging adapter lying around, then you can use that to take the full advantage of this USB-C port. It gives an output of 92 watts for charging the connected laptop and 8 watts for powering the hub. Finally, there is the 1 Gbps Ethernet port. It ensures a more stable and faster wired network connection. If you are streaming or gaming online, then it's better to use a wired connection rather than depending on the Wi-Fi. It also has the status LED lights to show the connection status. If you want to take the full advantage of this port, you need to use an Ethernet cable according to the CAT5E standard or higher. And last but not least, it has a cable unlike the ones that get inserted into the laptop. This is just a personal preference. I just like the ones with a small extra cable. It makes the whole setup looks very clean. If you are enjoying watching the video, please give it a like for the algorithm. If you don't like it, dislike the video twice just to make sure. 
Now let's talk about some downsides of this hub. The USB-C female port on the hub can be used only for PD pass through charge and cannot be used for the data transfers. So if you have a SSD with the type C cable then you cannot use this port since it's only for charging. Another one is you can connect only one HDD or SDD at a time. I would say it's no big deal at a given price. Sometimes it get pretty hot when it's fully loaded. Like when I make use of all the ports then it's getting hot. Generally all the USB hubs get hot when they're using and this is no different. And final conclusion is it has all the ports a content creator or a programmer or a basic user needs and all the ports are latest generation ones. So when I'm buying a USB-C hub, I wanted a USB-A 3.0 ports on them. This has it. I wanted a HDMI with 4K at 60Hz support. This hub has it. Currently, I have a full HD monitor, but later when I upgrade to 4K monitor, I don't have to buy an extra cable. I can use the same hub. I wanted to have a PD charging support port. This hub has it. I wanted to have a Ethernet port. This hub has 1 Gbps speed support. And I wanted to have micro and SD card slots with the highest speeds possible. It checks all the necessary points and it's a fully power packed one. You cannot ask for more. If you bought a MacBook Air or Pro or Dell XPS and you're looking for a good yet affordable USB-C hub then trust me this is the best one. If you are planning to buy this one, buy it in Great Indian Sale or Big Billion Day Sale. At that time you will get around 500 rupees off on the current price. So that's my review of the Cable Creation USB-C Hub. What do you think of this? If you already own it, what's your take on this one? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.